Mark, I'm an Ableton certified trainer. Uh, what we're doing here is showing the Ableton connection kit, which is a little Max for Live device that lets you connect with the outside world. Uh, what we're using here is Lego Mindstorm, which is all of this stuff. So we've built some robots, some machines. They're using things like light sensors, motors, and they all go into this Mindstorm's brain here. And this connects via Bluetooth to Ableton and we're using it to create or manipulate music inside Ableton. So if I show you the, the pendulum, we can swing the pendulum and press the button and it takes a little sample of the pendulum swinging and it uses it to change the tempo of live. So like a metronome, uh, we have a little automator just here. So this is a motorized automator and the distance between the sensor and the ball is controlling things like a uh, filter, for example. The filter cutoff is being... Being, yeah, by that. Uh, and we can map that to loads of different things in live, which is uh, really fun. Uh, we've got a little sequencer here. So the sequence has uh, red and white feet, which give you different accents. Uh, and when it triggers underneath the RGB sensor, it triggers a note. Uh, we have a Lego theremin, of course. So. so how does that work then? So this is using these two sensors. We've got them set up in uh, proximity mode. Uh, they just simply receive data based on how close you are to them. And again, we're just piping it into Ableton and we're feeding it into a synthesizer to control the pitch and the amplitude. So quite simple, very easy to set up. The, the connection kit in live has done all the hard work for you. Uh, very easy just to connect the Mindstorms kit and uh, remap things to the things in live that you want to control. Uh, over here we have Wacom. So this is like uh, the Whack-A-Mole game. They pop up randomly and they trigger a chord whenever you hit them. So that's us triggering the uh, MIDI on a synth that we've got mapped in live. And then finally we have, uh, we've made a little synthesizer here, which has we thought it would be fun to be able to make your own waveform in Lego. So you build your waveform on here and you pop it on here. And then on the synth, we press the button and it will update and get the new waveform. And that becomes the wavetable for the synth patch. So the connection kit, uh, which is this thing here, uh, you get quite a few devices and they connect with very different systems. So this one works with Lego Mindstorms. Uh, they can work with Arduino, Korg, little bits. The idea is anything in the outside world that you want to connect with Ableton, the connection kit does a lot of the hard work for you. It in this situation, it translates data coming from the sensors and the motors and does all that for you. So you can just very quickly map it to things in live. But if you have something else like Arduino, uh, that would be really easy to do. So just to get you outside the box and using more interactive, fun instruments.